Hail everybody, it's Chugga Conroy! Welcome back to more Pokemon White version! Last time, Skyla invited us over to a gym for a piece of cake. It was kind of an easy gym battle to begin with, and we were particularly well equipped to handle it, so we won the Jet Badge without much effort. Not like I was expecting it to really be that hard, I don't think it's ever given me a hard time. And now, we are back in Mistralton City, and this time, we are going to be going on with our travels, but not before seeing what our new badge can do for us. You can't buy any new items, and there's no new trainers at big stadium or small court. Now that we got that out of the way, let's move on, and listen to the sound. Such a pleasing sound effect. I like walking in and out of buildings whenever there's hail. It's just so nice on the ears, and I'm glad that we're getting to see this, because this only happens in winter, and not on every day in that, I don't think. As a result, I often go entire playthroughs without hearing the sound, even when I am trying to do in everything that you can do across the different seasons, no matter how menial or pointless those details might be. So, very, very happy that we get to see this, just so we can hear the sound. It's lovely. It truly, truly is. Moving on. Oh, we can't use our bike, because you can't ride through those uh, really tall tufts of grass. It's too much for your tires to handle, and... Even though these raised walkways were the express purpose of bikes in past games, you can't ride on them either, as we established. Now, we go north to Twist Mountain. Blair, stop! Or just Blair. My clairvoyance is slipping, either that or you're getting less dramatic over time. I gotta hand it to you, Sharon. Either you're jamming me and getting a little better than me in that way, or you're growing as a character. Since we both hold the jet badge now, let's see which of us is stronger. Your motivations have not changed one bit, however. I sound like I'm complaining, but I wouldn't change a thing. Sharon's a pretty cool character. We got Unpheasant, level 33, normal flying type, super luck for its ability, and holding a scope lens with the moves Roost, Detect, Air Slash, and Taunt. And ooh, it's sailing. We both gotta deal with that now, don't we? This is the beginning of Charon taking better advantage of hold items. He's gonna have good hold items on pretty much all of his Pokemon from here on out, which is cool because if you remember, he took an interest in hold items in particular as part of his strategy that he was trying to develop all the way back in Striaton City. I like that a lot. I'm gonna be switching out to our Garboder, Hilbert, so we can do a little bit more fighting in his new stronger tragedy or body. And you're going for Taunt. I thought you were gonna go for Detect, and that way I could get out a free switch and all that good stuff. Unfortunately, not the case of your strength and my strength. All right, let's test them. He's talking like we haven't fought yet, which is good because we haven't. Uh, I wanna show real quick that no, I did not forget to equip the Lucky Egg for two boss fights, if that's what you were thinking. Didn't forget there. I have put the wide lens on Haywire. I like using, I like using Charge Beam a lot, so I thought this would be a good hold item as it raises that from 90% accuracy to 99. I've also taken the Eviolite off Hilbert, something that I didn't think to do before fighting Skyla, just because I wasn't worried, and I gave it the Rocky Helmet instead. Switching into all these types that it resists is gonna be very, very nice going forward because of that. And of course, now you go for Detect now that I can't use Stockpile and I want to do damage to you. Thanks, thanks for that, really appreciate it. I wanna have a fight where we get in these Stockpiles and show just what a good tank Hilbert can be, because he really can. Alright, so you're buffeted by the hail, I'm buffeted by the hail, we're all buffeted by the hail, and my taunt wore off. Ooh, gonna try the stockpile? No. Doesn't. Can't stockpile after the turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sludge bomb it is. Please don't crit me after all this time that I've been trying to show this off. Thank you. Okay. I'm well aware that I had a type advantage with Zipstrika, but I didn't want it to get even more experience when it's so far ahead in the levels already. Simipor! He's gonna have whatever his elemental monkey is. In my case, it is water type, level 33, gluttony for its ability, holding a mystic water. We'll be holding whichever item is beneficial to its current to its uh, current type, to its type is what I'm trying to say. And it has the moves Lick, Scald, Leer, and Fury Swipe. Move sets are pretty similar across all the monkeys. I think you know how this works by this point. You're going for Scald? You better not get that burn chance before I do. Thank God. All right. Thank you. Yes. Taunt wore off. Let's throw up these stockpiles. Let's do it. I want to actually do this strategy for once. Which, now I'm going to get buffeted by the hand. Hilbert, I swear you will get your time in the sun one of these days. I probably shouldn't have tried to give you time in the sun while it was hailing. Uh, I still don't want to use Haywire because you're so far ahead in levels. Rock is lowest in levels and Rock can totally handle this fight. Let's try it. 
Acrobatics, go! Or you're slower than Simipur. This is bad. Simipur, I've praised you, and I know that you're good. But this is bad. Ottawa, let's see if you can handle this. Pull those swords out of those shells on your legs and show them what you're made of. Because now you have Megahorn, a good neutral attack. And I'm not kidding, Samurott actually does store swords and those things on its uh, on its uh, front legs. Those handles that you see, those are the handles on the blades and it can whip them out like a samurai can. It's a really cool detail and you see that a lot in the extended media like the manga or the anime or just some other things, you know? Your Scald is hitting for so much damage. You have the Mystic Water, so I shouldn't be that surprised, but still. Thank goodness we took care of that. Level 38. I don't want to learn the move Encore. I don't want to learn that any more than I didn't want to learn it back when you were first about to evolve. So let's give up on that. Better by the hail, and you're sending out Servine. His starter Pokemon is level 35. In my case, it is Grass type with Overgrow for its ability, holding leftovers with the moves Mega Drain, Leaf Blade, Leaf Seed, and Slam. But thankfully, I got a Bug type move. I can counter Grass types relatively well. Because you're not a superior, I was not worried at all by being outsped by you. Last Pokemon, you're seriously saving Lifebird for last. Level 33, Dark Type. Limber for its ability, holding a Citrus Berry, Assurance, Taunt, Fake Out, Hone Claws. I think Fake Out has increased priority over Aqua Jets. That's why I didn't go for that right there. I'm going to hope you're not faster than me. You are faster than me. I guess I got a little cocky because I was that much higher level. This fight could be going a heck of a lot better than it is. I'm just gonna say that much. Terabytes. Yeah, slow it down. Do what you can. You're tormenting me? I was thinking about tormenting you, but you only have a dark type move that you can hit me with now that you've been out for a turn, so probably not the most necessary thing in the world. There's your citrus berry. And I think I should be able to take you out in just one final rock two. Yeah, no problem at all. Good night. Or excuse me, good night. Excuse me, good night. Anytime you wanna have a good night, I'd be happy to wish you one, thank you. That could have gone a lot smoother than it did, but I guess it's what I get after having so many easy battles in a row. Pokemon battles are fun, but what is it to be truly strong? That was a fine Pokemon battle. I am happy to see you're both growing as trainers. If it isn't the champion Alder, I'm weak, so I lost. And honestly, it bothers me when you called it a fine battle despite that. Oh, honestly, Charon, just accept the compliment without the stinging remark. I've asked you this before, but what do you plan to do after becoming strong? If I get strong and become the cha become a champion, that will be the reason for my existence. I want to prove that I'm really living. Hmm, you remind me of Marshall. Of course, having something you want to become is important. But what is even more important is what you do with your newfound power. Anyway, take this. Here, you too. If you use the move Surf, you can travel over water. I shall see you again, young trainers. Don't forget about the needs of the Pokemon at your side. What I do with my power? I don't know the an that answer yet. First, I want to become a strong trainer so everyone will acknowledge that power. Blair, next time, I will win. He's all fired up and determined. We're gonna have to watch out for him going forward. HM03 Surf is gonna help us to become stronger as well. This is the best HM move there is. Well, that's a little bit debatable, but it's one of two of the best HM moves there is. 95 power, special damage, 100 accuracy. If you got a water type, you wanna teach this. Even if you don't have a water type, you wanna force this on your Pokemon pretty much as much as you can. This is gonna hit for more damage than Scald, even though it doesn't have that beautiful burn effect that makes you feel like the best trainer in the world for pulling it off. I want to forget it because the increase in power is just that darn good that I'm going to give up my core values 
just to have it. This will enable us to cross over water. We've heard a lot about this move, and because so many things have opened up to us all at the same time, we're gonna get on that. First off, we're gonna go to Driftvale City. And throughout our travels, many different towns have had water in them where we can now encounter Pokemon. Whenever we go into towns, that's now what's gonna be shown in the side. Some new encounters have become available right away, but I'm gonna wait until we're going through a primarily water route to talk about them. I'm gonna let you know up front, there is a lot that you can do. It is highly worth your time to backtrack because the things that you can get from Surf are by far the most helpful of any HM move we've had yet. It is the gift that keeps on giving. Speaking of which, TM84 Poison Jab. You wanna know the great thing about TM84 Poison Jab? The best part of it? Garboder. Can't even learn it. Just watch. Yeah. No one in our group can. You wanna know what kinds of Pokemon can learn Poison Jab? Uh, I don't know, uh... Pignite, Excadrill, a Timber, Throw, Levani, Maractus, Crustal, Carablast and Escavalier, Galvantula, but not Garboder, no! Remember when I said that the worst thing about Garboder and its biggest weakness is that it doesn't learn any good physical moves? Yeah, it's that bad. <laughs> if you were thinking, oh come on, you're exaggerating, there's no way that it doesn't learn at least some good physical moves, hopefully now you see where I'm coming from, cause it might as well be a special attacker with how limited its move pool is. Because there was just so much going on, we already had our battle against Charon and we've just been doing a few things in general already. We're just gonna be showing the minor stuff for right now before we get into the good stuff. Uh, oh! Encounter time! Basculin! Alright, I guess it's time to talk about this. I'm kinda going over Basculin once again. You will find the Blue Stripe variant commonly while surfing pretty much all around Unova in any fresh water that you go through if you are playing white version. In any sort of rippling water, which we've seen occasionally when walking past water up to this point, you'll be more likely to find the red stripe basculin. If you're playing black version, it's going to be the other way around, where red is common all the time, and blue is the one that you find in rippling water. This fisherman will give you a big pearl. Great selling item. I'm going to hang on to that one. Not selling it right away. I recommend that you do the same. And I need to go heal my dang Pokemon already. <laughs> Out on Route 3, do you remember that water that we saw along that very scenic bridge? where I was probably complaining about something related to Patrat. How specific of me. <laughs> yeah, we want to go back this way. I'm going to throw up my dowsing machine. I'm just vomiting up everything lately. Speaking of which, I'm going to throw up a rappel. And now we're going to cross. The surfing theme is so nice. I don't really want to like stop and listen to it right now because we have so much landing that we got to do and a lot of little items to collect one after another. But don't worry, we'll have time to listen to it in due time. Gonna check around this place. No, it doesn't seem like there's anything here. And now we can go off this way. And hey, there's the rippling water that I was just talking about. Grab a max ether. Gonna be careful about this. Directly north. Uh, no, not quite directly north. Rare candy! Makes me happy that this dowsing machine is good. I actually, this dowsing machine's a little bit too good, I have to say. <laughs> Not complaining if I got a rare candy out of it, but it does feel a little bit cheap just how easy it is to find these rare items where it doesn't really make you stand out. Because when you were a kid and you knew where these hidden items were just off memory, you were special and everybody respected you if they could watch you play whenever you found something that was not visible to you, like pressing A on the tree in Viridian City. That stuff made you popular back in my day. Check out how much my Pokemon have grown up! Buddy, it only has the full effect if I've been around to watch your Pokemon since their early days or if I knew you at any time before this. And let me guess, you got three Pokemon and the first one is a Simmy's age. I know exactly where this is going. Haywire, you might have a lot of experience, but because I won't just dang switch you out of the front of the party, I guess you're just gonna have to take care of these Pokemon and teach them what's what. Don't lick my zebra. I didn't like people sniffing my dearling. I don't like you licking my zebra either. Hooray! I might not have been able to do it without the help of the critical hit, but who cares? Level 41! More overpowered! Galen! Oh, I guess they're still pretty green. Doesn't green mean sick, not uh, that? Well, I, I guess Simi Sage would be green. Uh, here is a present for you. 
Lumberry heals any status ailment, the best berry there is. Of course you want to grab that. Okay, fine. We haven't had a rippling spot encounter yet. I might as well see what we can get from it just this one time. A red basculin! Just as I said there would be. Pokemon found while surfing have great variants in their levels. They can be pretty much anywhere as low as level 5 or as high as level 35. And now that the sun is set on this day, we are going deeper still into further darkness. Wellspring Cave was, I'll be putting it frank, a very sorry excuse for a first dungeon. However, like many sorry excuses for first dungeons, if you come back to it with later abilities, it has a lot more for you and is a tad more impressive. Just a tad. I'm gonna go up, I'm gonna grab a pee pee up, and we're gonna see how much more of this place that we can explore. Now, I do want to make a bit of a correction of something that I said the first time that we were here. Or, not, not really the first time that we were here, but something I should have said the first time that we were here. It's more the things that you don't say that are harder to catch than things that you do say. I said that in Chargestone Cave, th this is a very all over the place way of introducing this, but trust me, it makes sense. In Chargestone Cave, I had mentioned that it was the first time that we could find dust clouds on the ground and get items from them. That's not strictly the case. We could have gotten those in Wellspring Cave, but I'd personally only ever seen um, uh, Drillbur from those, so I thought that you weren't able to get the type gems until later in the adventure. No, you can get them in Wellspring Cave from the very beginning. There's no such limitation placed over it. One badge is the requirement for being able to see Phenomenon on the ground, and you always have it by this point, so I don't know what I was thinking. You could have had them for a while, but oh well, no harm done. You know what they do now, I guess. And because we might as well stay on topic for once, uh, Clear Smog. I had said worked a lot like Mist. It doesn't do that. It works a lot more like Haze removing enemy stat changes. I knew what it did. I just get Mist and Haze mixed up a little bit, so pretty small mess up. I don't like Flash. Nobody likes Flash. I don't have it, do I? Actually, no, wait, I do. The the, uh, the guy gave it to me in, uh, in uh, Castilia. Hey, Wire, I don't hate you enough to put this on you. We're gonna go grab a Pokemon that can use this. <laughs> now that we're back, you wanna hear an extremely subtle detail? Well, listen to the music. Whenever you go one floor deeper into a cave, furthering the dynamic music, the tempo will go down very slightly. If you're not paying attention, you might not have heard it. I might not hate Haywire enough to give it Flash, but we taught it to the Haywire that never was. What could have been if you just didn't have the wrong ability? You are getting to come with us on our travels. And this looks really neat. I like how the light adjusts. It's probably the most positive thing that I have ever said about Flash in my entire life, or that I ever will say about Flash in my whole entire life, because it seems to be a dying art. Flash is not a move that seems to be getting much usage, even as a field move in any sort of capacity. Heck, it got deep. It got demoted to TM. When that happens, there's no coming back after that. Just ask Defog. Got TM47 low sleep. Low sleep. Low sweep. Not low sleep. <laughs> I guess you are pretty low when you sleep if you are laying down. Low sweep is a fighting type physical move that lowers your opponent's speed. I'm trying to find it somewhere around here. There we go. Only 60 power. It's not the greatest thing ever. It's basically just a fighting type bulldoze and Terabyte can learn it. I've been wanting a fighting type move on our team for a while now. I don't think a fighting type Pokemon would help us terribly much, but Rock Tomb has a, well, I got a TM for Torment. Let's add to the further type coverage. <laughs> Low sweep it is. And why not? We need that dowsing machine. Hey, right as soon as I pull it up, it's a good thing that I did and I didn't forget. We got a max potion. Does what it says on the label, restores all of your HP. I don't know why you would ever need it though. I think it's an incredibly pointless item because Hyper Potion is probably gonna do you good for as long as you're using healing items on your Pokemon, unless you're, can't even really be raising a Blissey because they aren't in Unova. Nothing up there, okay. And we got trainers, possibly. Competitive eating is one thing I am good at.
it's a real shame you can't have a Snorlax on your team for reasons that I just said. Scraggy! I I've seen professional leaders that are very buff and very muscular, and I gotta say, I find that a little bit curious. Not that I, I know that you do need calories and protein to grow, of course. Of course I know that, though. I just mean, it's not quite what you would expect whenever you hear about people being professional leaders. And this guy seems to match that description of what I've seen as well whenever I'm taking a look at High jump kick! Nice, I think you took more damage than what you actually did. <laughs> Gonna stockpile once again, finally getting to do what I've been wanting to do with Hilbert for so long. Doing another high jump kick, that's fine. One of these days you're gonna keep going and crash, gonna stack my third stockpile. That's the downside of stockpile is that even though you don't get the minus speed that you get from curse, you can only stack three of them at a time because it is intended to be used with spit up or swallow which uh, they don't want those moves being too good, so you can only stack three of those before using that. And, uh, oh, okay, flinched and couldn't move. There's that stench going into effect. There we go. That is the kind of beautiful tanking that Hilbert is able to do. That is the quintessential Garboder battle right there. Stockpile, 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 outspeeding them, hitting up the stench flinch, getting the KO because the poison was just enough to be able to do it. And, oh no, you better not have guts. Okay, good, it didn't really matter all that much. Even if he paralyzed me, it's not like it even really matters that much at this point anyway, but this is why I wanted to use it. Yes, it has a lot of downsides. Yes, it sucks that it can't learn Poison Jab. But this right here is the strategy that I have been trying to pull off for so, so long. And there we go. Once again, getting the Poison KO, and we would not have otherwise and would have had to have dealt with it for one more turn. Level 37. And your last Pokemon is, of course, Sock. I'll need two hits to beat you because of Sturdy, so I'm not that bothered by the fact that I would need that. Anyway, Brick Brick. Brick Brick. Not all that good. Oh, because uh, you had speed me, of course. The Rocky Helmet would have made me able to one-hit KO you. Volka. Don't go stealing my strategies. Come on. Has the same, uh, well, not really the same effect, but he is buffing his defense. Not like it even matters if, uh, if this is special. I guess to be fair, for once, me only knowing special attacks is working out in my favor. Sludge Bomb? Would have done clear smog if it mattered, but really, it didn't. What I am bad at is Pokemon battles. I don't know, buddy. You had a you had pretty good taste in Pokemon right there, and you, you did apply some strategy to it. I, I would say that you are far from the worst regular trainer that we fought. Very, very good. Uh, no, those are not for drinking. They are for cherishing our memories that we have at our current age. Decided to switch Rock into the lead because Hilbert has gotten its level and now Rock is the lowest member of our team. It also hasn't done a lot of fighting lately, and with you guys being black belts and battle girls, I see no time like the present. Oh, trainer, do you want to learn a bitter lesson? Battle girl Maggie, sending out a girder. Okay, that is absolutely fine. I think Garboder got it at a good time because you definitely will probably have, well, definitely will probably have guts for your ability. Definitely, maybe. Definitely, maybe. Give it that acrobatics. And there's your one hit KO. Go to level 37, please. Thank you very much for doing that, Rock. Sending out a sock. Okay, that is absolutely fine by my standards. Uh, I need two hits to beat you anyway, and I'm not going to do any other damage to you, so let's go for the engine power and go for the all stats up. Just kind of been sitting unused in our moveset for a while, so I'd like to see that. Oh, that's potentially awkward. Okay, acrobatics it is. Man, Rock is so powerful. I, I know that it just did badly against Charon, but I've been feeling it for a while that Rock is potentially the most powerful member of our team, even in its unevolved state, because I know how to use it. And well... Time to be afraid of how powerful it will become right after I just said that. <laughs> this is my favorite Pokemon. It has its flaws. I've acknowledged them many times. I think I've been pretty good about knowing when and how to use it because it hasn't been in defeatist that much or lost many battles. But I just love the 
plume colors on its feathers, the blue, the yellow, the green. It's very colorful and such a bright, pretty looking Pokemon. And I've always liked reptilian birds from the prehistoric times. And the fact that it's just this gigantic bird with a snake head, it's just, it's so cool and beautiful at the same time. And yes, because it's evolved and it is floating in its sprite, that does mean it can learn fly now. Are you looking here for Pokemon Battle, or are you just taking a walk? Oh, you have dissed the wrong person. You have crossed paths with the wrong Pokemon trainer on a day like today. <laughs> oh, your fighting type Pokemon are about to have the most rotten of rotten days, because you are but guinea pigs for the god that for the bird god that is before. <laughs> it is. Yeah, no question whatsoever. You know what, actually? Before we take our, out our aggression on this throw and just feel really good about being angry at the world or whatever, any sort of negative pent up feelings are about to be taken out on this guy. Attack is 118, special attack is 99, and speed is 101. We don't really have good defenses, of course, but higher attack than Ottawa, equal special attack to Ottawa, much faster than Ottawa, better all around than Terabyte at attacking. Better all around than Hilbert. Slower than Haywire, but still better at attacking. Yeah, its stats are incredible for attacking at this point. As if they weren't high enough already to the point where it felt almost a little bit too much at times. We got it good. It would have been funny with how slow its HP was scrolling right there. I was kind of expecting it to not go down in one hit and then just get slapped in the face by it and go into defeatist. What is this? I can't explain it, but you are great. Even if you forget about this battle, I will never forget this. <laughs> Good to know that that face beating is going to be memorable for you. Okay, okay, I won't show off too much. Guys? Uh, guys? Uh, you guys are gonna move, right? Guys? I saw that guy walk walking around. I hope he can move. Please. Did I discover essentially a soft lock? It's been a minute or two and they still haven't moved to one inch and I've tried looking this up and there's no notes about it anywhere. I looked up Wellspring Cave Pokemon stuck and no results about this came up. Uh, It's a good thing I just saved, but it's an even more good thing that I have more escape ropes than I know what to do with. <laughs> Who knew that catching all those little pups would save my life someday? <laughs> Let's get out of here. I don't know. Uh, uh. Oh, they move when you move, but I couldn't move. So that's why they... Uh, they move very erratically, actually. Uh. Yeah, no matter which way I was moving in there, they wouldn't move at all. They don't move when you're on the same level as them, only when you're on other layers. That's... I don't know how to feel about that. That feels unintentional and bad, <laughs> quite frankly. Yeah, they they don't move when I'm down here. They only move when I'm on a different layer than them. That's... that's I don't know. That's... I can only say that's. I don't have any sort of descriptive word strong enough to say what my feelings are because even I'm not totally sure what my feelings are about that. Give me a hyper potion. And yeah, this dowsing machine is actually kind of cheap. I kind of miss the days when the dowsing, well, I don't really have to miss the days because it isn't really like that anymore, but uh, in present day, but uh, the dowsing machine I think is at kind of at its best when you do at least have to work a little bit for the items because you can map everything to the Y button. There's really no downside of having to press the X button to bring it up. There's mystic water down there, which might seem redundant at first glance, but remember, they can't guarantee that you selected the mystic water back in that green city. Mm. And then we'll head down quite a ways. Oh, this is just taking us back to the beginning. Back up top, we got a whole other section of the cave right around there here. In this dead end is another Max Elixir, just throwing these things onto us, even though I'm probably not ever gonna use them. I'm not made out of money. I use Lepa Berries. Get Focus Blast, even though Lepa Berries are probably even more scarce. Focus Blast is an excellent TM. It is a special fighting type move with 120 power and 85 accuracy. I 
Or 70 accuracy. I was about to say that of course I know what it does offhand, but I guess I don't totally know that. Also lowers the target special defense, which I was just getting to. Hilbert's able to learn that because of course it is, knowing special moves. Rock is able to learn it, and its special attack isn't half bad. I'm not sure if I'd want to put a 70% accurate move on it. If this were Haywire, would be an easy choice because I already have a reason to have the wide lens on it. So I'd get double benefit out of it, but no, Haywire definitely cannot learn this. No. And Hilbert... Maybe because Hilbert's not quite as frail, I could get rid of Payback for it. Because Payback hasn't been that helpful, and again, Hilbert's a pretty speedy tank. I ran around this floor a while longer just to see if there was anything that I was missing or if there was any pathway I didn't get down. I spared you all of my humming and hawing because there was nothing else. So, you're welcome for that. But that is everything in Wellspring Cave, and just the tip of the iceberg of all that we can do now that we have Surf. There is so much to show, and I'm very excited to see it all. But, that is all for now. Next time on Pokemon Black and White, we're gonna head back over by Driftvale City, and we're gonna follow a tip that a certain old geezer gave us a while back that we couldn't act on back when he gave us said tip. We're gonna see just how much having a good memory rewards us. See you guys then.